Hello and welcome to the CA ArcServe D2D How-To Video Series. In this video we'll show you how to restore data from a file copy. Each time D2D performs a successful file copy job, it copies all source files that have changed since the last successful file copy job. This restore method allows you to browse the file copy data and specify exactly which file you want to restore from the cloud or disk destination. If you encounter a problem where your file becomes lost or damaged, you can restore a known good version of that file that was previously backed up and copied. In this video, we'll show you how to restore selected file copies to a specified destination. Let's get started. From the D2D homepage, click Restore to open the Restore Methods dialog, and then select the Browse File Copies option. The Restore dialog opens. First, you need to specify the location where your file copies are stored. By default, this is your configured file copy destination. If you want to change this destination, you can click the Change button to browse to an alternate location where your file copy images are stored. When you click this button, a dialog opens displaying the available alternate destination options. You can select to restore from a local or network drive or from a cloud location. If you choose a local or network drive option, you can browse to and select an alternate local or network drive location. You may need to provide username and password credentials to gain access to that location. You can click the green arrow button to verify that you have a valid connection to the location if needed. If you choose the cloud option, you can then click the configure button to access the cloud configuration dialog. From this dialog, you can select the exact cloud storage location that you want to restore your file copies from by specifying such parameters as the cloud vendor type and URL address the key information to gain access to that vendor site, and the name of the bucket or container that houses these file copies at this cloud location. After you've specified the location for the stored file copies, the left pane shows a tree view listing of the copied files that are at the location. From this left pane, you can now select the copy folders or files to be restored. When you select an individual file to be restored, all versions of that copied file will be displayed in the right pane. If multiple versions are available, you must then select which copy version you want to restore. When you have finished specifying the file copy data to be restored, click Next. The Restore Options dialog opens. From here, you need to choose the restore destination. You can restore to the original location from where the backup image was captured, or to an alternate location. If you select an alternate location, you may need to provide username and password credentials to gain access to that location. You can click the green arrow button to verify you have a valid connection to the location if needed. Next, specify what you want D2D to do to resolve any conflicts that may be encountered during the restore process. Choose Overwrite Existing Files to replace data that already exists at the restore destination. If you select this option, the Replace Active Files option is enabled. You can then specify what you want D2D to do if the existing file is active or currently in use. With this option selected, D2D will not immediately replace the active file, but instead will postpone the replacement of that file until the next time the machine is rebooted. If you do not select this option, any active files are skipped from the restore. Choose Rename Files if you want to create a new file with a new name if the file name already exists at the restore destination. Choose Skip Existing Files to not overwrite existing files that are located at the restore destination. You can also specify if you want D2D to recreate the same root directory structure at the destination that exists in the captured backup image. Finally, if the recovery point data you are trying to restore is encrypted, you may need to provide the encryption password. When you are finished specifying the restore options, click Next. The Restore Summary dialog is displayed. Review the displayed information to verify that all restore options and settings are correct. If the information is not correct, click Previous and go back to change the incorrect setting. If the information is correct, click Finish to launch the restore process. D2D confirms the restore job was successfully submitted and displays the progress on the job monitor. That's it! For more detailed information about this procedure, you should always check the official D2D user documentation. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit our website where you can view other titles in this video series.